Hello guys, in this video I'm going to share with you a script that I've written and the script is an autoric script that rig a metahuman with a human IK with one click and you just need to copy the script and paste it in the script editor which I'm going to provide it in the description so I'm going to copy the script and open the script editor and in the mail section I'm going to paste it <coughs> and control enter as you can see the character is anti-stand and rigged also I need to mention that your metahuman should be the second version that has finger feet um, if it's not you need to update it otherwise the script doesn't work and the script also make extra joint for IK for fingers and hide the joints and if you want to see the FK you can toggle this icon you can see FK and obviously human IK is the best trick for motion capture and also I think in my opinion it's also the best rig for keyframe animation too because it's a full body rig and <clears throat> it means that one controller can affect other controllers and it's very important very helpful for um, for uh, keyframe animation and also this IK pool, which I will cover in another tutorial, is very very helpful, and I haven't seen anything like that in any any um, predefined trick. And um, I need to mention that this trick with MetaHuman seems to be a little slow, but actually it's not slow when you want to play back the animation it's not slow it's just slow when you are using the controller and in ca in order to make it faster you can hide uh, the head geometry and for body um, here it is body I'm going to hide the flip flop and body and unhide the combined mesh. So combined mesh has a head too and it is useful for motion capture if you want to preview motion capture. As you can see it is fast now. So let's talk about motion capture. Sometimes when you want to retarget the character, uh, something weird happened. Let me import a motion capture into the scene. Okay. And this is a motion capture that I downloaded. The way that you retarget is to right click, assume perfect angle. Most of the time, the skeleton that you download from a motion capture site we'll go to T pose by selecting assume preferred angle and I'm going to make a new definition new one and load HIK and lock it and now I'm going to apply the motion to my character I select character 1 which is a metahuman and I select character 2 which is the motion capture and something weird happens as you can see it's not following the the motion correctly and the reason is that 
if you take a look at definition, you can see the head geometry, the, the head joint is wrong. And probably the neck, neck is okay. But some of the joints go wrong. Selecting the right, the wrong um, thing, which is a in this case, I think it's a joint or a geometry. For some reason, it happens. And to fix that problem, we need to um, characterize the motion capture in an empty scene. So I'm going to delete that. As you can see, the head geometry. I'm going to delete that and delete character 2 and character 1 go to stand and i'm going to open an empty scene so i'm going to drag the motion capture into an empty scene and this is the motion capture and I'm going to characterize it right click get some preferred angle and from here create character definition and select one joint and selecting HIK lock and now I'm going to save the scene which already I have saved as mocap and I'm saving it on top of it and in the other scene, I'm going to, um, I can import it, but there is a better way because you want to get rid of the motion capture later after baking the animation. You don't want to have extra file in your scene. And instead of importing it, I'm going to reference it with, with the, uh, the shortcut of uh, control R or you can do it here reference um, actually I can't find it it should be here yeah create reference control R so I'm going to import the mocap and as you can see it has a namespace set no cap character one so i can from character one to more cap character one and as you can see now it's working and if you want to bake the animation you can bake it or if you want to export this for unreal the only thing that you need to do is select um, one of the geometry which is body in this case even you can select flip-flops it doesn't matter um, export selection and uh, when you are going to export it you select Make sure that you select animation and bake animation this way before exporting for unreal it bakes the animation on the meta human thank you for watching